So what is data scraping, Daniel? So data scraping is the process of taking information from existing websites, uh, places online, and then pulling it together. So it's, it's a way of bringing information together that you can't access necessarily very easily or putting it into a way that you can then manipulate it. And that's the important bit going forwards. So how can you then use this data? Well, you can collect it together. So give you an example. Say I want a list of the top 100 grossing movies of all time. And I want to know who the directors were, who the lead actor was, and how much money it made. Okay, So I could go off. And if that's on a web page, I can't do anything with it. Whereas if I can scrape that data off, I can then put it into Excel and I can manipulate it. I could put it into Power BI or a tool like that, Looker Studio, which is what Google Data Studio is now called. Um, and I can I can manipulate it and visualize it and things like that. What's interesting is that suddenly with things like ChatGPT, I can go through and say, analyze this data for me and manipulate this data and, and so on as well. So suddenly I can start mixing these things up but I need to get the data in the first place. So that's that's what we can start to do with it. So what about tools for helping you do this? Yeah, so there's a great Chrome extension called Data Miner. And Data Miner, you give it a recipe. So you would go through and say, okay, here's the web page you want to take it from. Click this bit's the title, click this bit's the value. This, And you go through and it will understand the page. You click go and it will go straight through thousand, thousand to line if you wanted to. It can go to the next page. And you could go through a whole series of pages and it will put that data into a spreadsheet for you. So that's one way of doing it. Um, the other way is actually now chat GPT, because of having browsing built into it and the plugins built in, you can say, go to this website and get this data. And you can get it to pull it for you. And then you can use another plugin to visualize it. So you can start to do some really exciting things between something like Data Miner and ChatGPT with plugins and so on um, to kind of get insights into data that you might not have had otherwise. There's some quite interesting examples of tools within like, like SEO that will go out and they'll mm. scrape your competitors' websites to, and tell you what's changed. You know, things like that are quite useful to see, like keep an eye on the competition and see, well, what what are they updating? What new articles have they published? What's gone out on through social media? So I think like definitely check some of those um, tools out. Things like um, the competitor tool. Competitor.app. Yeah, competitor.app. It's very, very good, good for that. And it's kind of what it's doing. So is there anything to be careful of? Yeah, a lot of this stuff will be copyright. You can't just take other people's stuff and use it, like and use it elsewhere. You can take it and analyze it and read it and all those kind of things. So you might find it's good for getting insights, but be really careful if you're scraping other people's stuff and then reusing it. There's all sorts of copyright issues you could potentially get into as well. So you've got to be really careful of that. Um, the the public domain stuff, you know, that's great, and just just make sure you know where it's coming from from that point of view. There are data scraping tools that will go out there and find content that's been plagiarized. And they'll check across like thousands of like different references. And one of the common forms of this is when people have like scraped photos. Like if you scrape an article and publish it on your website and it's and it's using a photo that you don't have permission for, you know, any one of the big photo libraries can slap you with a eight, nine hundred pound fine and you'll find it difficult not to pay it. Yeah. And they've got they've got big legal clause they'll get stuck into you. So yeah, be careful with that. And it, and and that's per infringement, by the way. So if you've got, you know, a data scraping tool that's pulled a whole bunch of images, you're in a whole world of pain. Yeah, and with AI generated images now, there's no need to be doing this kind of stuff anymore anyway. And so is there any other good resources? Yeah, if you just Google what is data scraping, you will find our article on targetinternet.com at the top there. And you've got a whole step-by-step -step guide. You've got some example videos. You've got a load of resources that will help you out. So uh, Specifically written for like data scraping for marketers and how they might want to use it.